Okay, that's fine. We can obviously reach around and grab that chin. Look how I'm grabbing that chin there, guys. All right, keep your fingers together. Don't let people separate them, but I'm grabbing his chin, okay? Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna have a look today at the chin strap guillotine. You guys asked for it. We have these awesome shirts made up. You can get yours by just clicking the link below the Teespring and get some awesome merch to support the channel. Let's have a look at the chin strap guillotine. It's one of my absolute favorites and one of the most versatile tools you can use on the jiu-jitsu mats. Let's take a look. All right guys, chin strap. Well, a lot of us learn guillotines from the guard and uh, this is a great place to start. So guillotines can occur from closed guard, but of course they'll end up with your guard open to go for them anyway. So whether you want to start from there or butterfly is fine. Now, sometimes opponents will have their head down low. Okay, that's fine. We can obviously reach around and grab that chin. Look how I'm grabbing that chin there, guys. All right, keep your fingers together. Don't let people separate them, but I'm grabbing his chin, okay? Because his primary defense to a guillotine is gonna be to pull his head out, push my arms off, okay, like this. So I wanna keep it in this way. So as my front delt goes forward, the chin strap pulls back, okay, like this. Now, if I wanted to submit that, I would simply put a hammock underneath this pinky meta carpal here, and then put his head on the mat. So I've got Matt's chin, I put the hammock in place, I put his head on the mat, stop him from rolling out, and bridge, okay? Scooping his Adam's apple into my mouth, all right? So Matt will often have a good posture like this though, so before I can get a chin strap from guard, I'd have to pull his head down and snap his head down into that chin strap position, okay? However, I can also hip heist, so hip heisting is just going from a seated position up, get my hips higher than Matt, to now be able to access that, okay? So I can sit up and do a snap down, or I could just do a hip heist and go straight into a chin strap. But they're the three ways that we tend to get in. Now, the chin strap is so fantastic because it's versatile. I can do it from almost anywhere. Yes, there are positions where I can't do it from, but let's have a look at a lot of the ones where I can. So I love any time I'm on the bottom, guys. So, you know, if you're playing a knee shield type guard like this, any time I can get around the head, I'm gonna often look to do it. The only time from the bottom I won't is if his spine crosses mine. So I won't ever grab it on this side where his spine is crossing mine from a rooftop view, okay? I gotta keep, for a chin strap to work, the spine over to the side. So let's now have a look at doing a guillotine from a half guard on the top using the chin strap. So if Matt's on his back, a lot of the time, if I'm caught here in his half guard, a lot of the time he's trying to crunch in and that's really good from a side control perspective because he's using his radius and ulna forearm and his tib and fib, his shin, to form a tight block to prevent me from getting access to this real estate, which is what I want in side control. So he's keeping me here like this and he's crunching in, okay? But anytime he's doing that, I can just sort of like let my left arm be loose and I can wrap around and grab onto Matt's chin right here, okay? Now the beauty of that is now Matt's hands will often go to my hand around his chin. And as his hands go there, I can often use it to pass his guard. And now from here, I can still finish, okay? So I hold his chin tight, I flap my elbow, and I'm still finishing from here, using that to power that movement, okay? Of course, from side control itself, we can do that as well. So as Matt turns towards me to try to escape, we can just grab his chin. Now from here, yes, I can get my hands in, wrench up or try to finish from here. I could also slide to the mount and finish as a mounted guillotine. But one of the best benefits of attacking the chin when they hip escape is that by bringing Matt's head down this way, I restrict his flexibility and range of motion this way. See, like if I hold his head here and I say, bring your knee through, he can't get it say past here. But if his head can go back, now his knee can go all the way through. 
So rather than fighting these big things, I can instead use his head as a lever here, so the chin strap is a fulcrum on the spine, and now when he tries to hip escape, you're just only gonna be able to just get your knee in. And then I'll be able to take it out and look to finish, okay? So the chin strap is massively useful, okay? One of its most obvious uses is when Matt is wrestling me from my feet, and I could, of course, offensively hit him down here, but when he shoots in at my legs, I can guide him into my chin strap. So normally from my wrestling stance, I'll be using this as my reach hand and my defensive hand. This is my post posting hand. So when he shoots in, I'll often be guiding it right here, okay? And a lot of my competitive matches, especially against better wrestlers in the United States, uh, that has been the match. It was a quick match, maybe 20 seconds or less and they shoot in and land in that chin strap. And once you have the chin strap, whether you're gonna roll them over to mount, whether you're gonna sprawl on them, take their back, or actually go for a guillotine like we can in BJJ, it's just a good thing. So if you're not grabbing people's chins, start. And just be aware though, that like we don't wanna injure our buddies. Like the last thing I would want is to tap Matt out and he got an injured neck because especially until his neck like has enough time and his traps to strengthen up. The last thing I want to be doing is hurting my training partners. You know, Jiu Jitsu is not about that. So I want you guys to have fun, grab the chin and just watch how effective it is. If we control a man's head, we'll control that man's body. Give it a shot. Don't forget guys, jump on the grapplingacademy.com. We've got premium courses available that aren't on YouTube. I appreciate your support guys. I hope to get to meet you at a seminar sometime. I'm Professor Tom, this is Matt, and we'll see you next week. Bye.